All right, I've got a fair bit to get through here. So let me start at the beginning. On a long passage, I like to think, or I like to say that I think, but really I guess I'm dreaming. I have time to think a lot about design of vessels, ideas for the future, and different sorts of things like that. It was on one of these passages years ago that I had a long conversation with Elena about an emissions-free vessel, or at least trying to get as close to an emissions-free vessel as possible. Over many, many months, we agreed it was something that I could pursue, but there are a few caveats that she stipulated to me. Number one, boats are a very unwise investment, and so I needed to keep the price of a new vessel, if we were to do it, as close to the price of the Ultramer as possible. Number two, it needs to be safe, which in my humble opinion means fast, so it means that you can get around bad weather. And number three, as close to emissions free as possible, which is the entire reason that we would be thinking about doing something like this. And I suppose that some of you have already got alarm bells ringing. Well, I can't say I'm too surprised by them there guys on the La Vagabond talking about emissions free or some such. Well, it occurred to me that you can't build something that's emissions free. So I've been working on this for over two years now. I've been emailing and calling people, thinking and organising and trying to pull something together. I thought a lot about you guys, about our audience and what you would like to see us doing and the vessel that you would like to see us in. I thought a lot about encouraging young people to get into sailing and I also thought about myself as an old man and what I would like to look back on and have seen me do. And we're in a bit of a weird position because we love this Ultramer, but if we are going to go ahead and do this thing, then the thinking went that I would just try to pull something off that was incredible. And if we got there, then awesome, but if we didn't, worst case scenario, we'd just stay put and just keep making movies on this vessel here, which would be totally fine. There is a word that springs falls into my mind here when I'm thinking about these things, and that word is hypocrite. Not entirely sure what it means, but it feels damn good to use it. So the thing about planning for an emissions-free vessel is that the area where you're going to do your best work is in light wind. So I think 25% of wind on a circumnavigation is going to be below 5 knots, which is basically become. So that's where you're going to do your best work. So the vessel needs to be very light. We also wanted it to be safe, and the bigger your vessel is, the safer you are, as long as you can handle the vessel that you're on. The chance of capsize is a function of wave height to vessel length. To the best of my knowledge, no multi-hull over 55 foot has ever capsized. I'll do a link to an article and a book, which has led me to some of that sort of information. The problem that we've got there, though, is caveat number one, which Elena stipulated, which is the price which goes up exponentially as you start getting over 55 foot. So, I needed to keep the price down. Back in 2018, we made a PDF and then we started sending it out to various companies trying to convince them that traditional forms of media and advertising were a thing of the past and that we had this brilliant new idea to jump on board the La Vagabond freight train. Just telling them about our idea and about our dreams. And we actually got quite a few very, very positive responses, which was incredible because I didn't know what we were going to get back. There are still a few huge hurdles to overcome if this is ever going to happen. And I'll make sure that I keep you guys informed about I want to do sort of regular updates. So stay tuned for upcoming information. We still need sponsorship for various parts of the vessel. So if you're a company out there and it's something that you might like to get involved in, please send us an email. I'll put a link to our specific email that we want anything like that sent to in the description below. The final hurdle, I guess, will be we'll need to also sell this boat in whatever market it's gonna end up being when we wanna do that. So that's not a small thing to do as well. But yeah, like I said, if none of this happens, then we just stay on board this one and keep doing what we're doing, which would also be great. So it was quite funny that a concern of the companies and probably people watching as well was that this might just turn into a show advertising miscellaneous boat parts. I think we should have proved ourselves by now. We haven't done that in the past and we're not gonna do that in the future. I mean, that would just be suicide for the channel. And it's not something that you guys would wanna watch. It's not something that we wanna make. But we do want to show gratitude for the people that have made this possible. So just trust us that we know how to get that done.
It would be fair to say that this is as excited as I have ever been. I've never had so much of my brain consumed for so long and so many hours on one particular thing. There's just so much information that I could give to you guys, but just stay tuned for regular updates and I'll let you guys know as I find out more stuff. And also a big thank you to our patrons who have kept this thing quiet for a fair while. Kept it under your hat, I really appreciate it. Loose lips uh, sink ships. And yeah, I'm really interested to hear what people think. Do you think it's a good idea, a bad idea? What would you do? Do you have any ideas for what it might look like or designs or... Yeah, I'm just really interested to hear basically what people think. It's pretty incredible what I've learned from you guys over the years in all of the different feedback that we're lucky enough to get. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section and um, cheers. This is... Uh, <laughs> really, I'm losing it over here. Like, this is pretty exciting. Muchas gracias and uh, au revoir. Well, I suppose that's all right.